Hello and welcome to another episode of the Shaver Ranch plus Wolves. I am scrambling eggs. Yeah. But do you know why I'm scrambling eggs? Why? Because our dog has very bad allergies and skin conditions. And I've heard of it for years, but I'm now finally desperate to, you know, go for it. Mm -hmm. That diet is one of the major problems that dogs have with their skin. Yep. So I am scrambling up eggs, which we get for free. We raise chickens. Yeah, and our eggs, chickens. Yeah. Except for you know, uh, chicken feed. Yep. And then I researched and said that beans are good for dogs. So I got two sets of beans here. Different kinds there. That I mix in with it. Can someone flip on the big light, please? Need better lighting. There so you go. can see my beautiful hat here. And carrots, cooked carrots. Interesting. Very good for dogs. Now, got a few beans stuck in there. Now, you might think beans for a dog, and that cause some Sorry. gas problems or something. But as unhealthy as they are when they eat those cheap dog food fillers and stuff, that causes more gas than the beans do. Yeah. Because she's healthier by eating this good food. So about this skillet here lasts about five days and you don't have to give the dog as much food because this is dense very high nutrient nutrient food so she doesn't need as big of a load of it no and filler even for a dog that doesn't have skin conditions and allergies to the fillers that they put um it is also beneficial to do this for any dog especially one that is really pretty like a husky or a German Shepherd that has a coat that needs to have nutrients, this is much, much better yeah, for them. Better. Skin and coat will be, of course, it's cheaper because we don't buy the eggs. <laughs> yeah. We raise our If you raise chickens, chickens it makes it a lot but more. But you can, and you need to, to have variety in their food too, so you're giving them a full, Colors. yeah, full nutrition, you know, all the vitamins and minerals they need. So this isn't the only thing she'll get, but this is just the bulk of it, you know. Yeah. If we have this morning, we meat. Give her hard boiled and cheese. Oh yeah, some cheese. Cheese is good. It's a complete food. Mm hmm And uh, yeah, any cheap meat that you can give to a dog. You know, go to the butcher and there's some really meat that's on sale I or something. I made dinner and I gave her the chicken fat. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, mommy doesn't want to serve us the fat from the chicken, so she uh, picks all that out and gives her the chicken fat. And we, when we say fat, we mean you know, not just the pure 100%. We're talking there's meat on the oh, ends yeah. of them. There's meat in it, but anything that's got fat in it, mommy doesn't want. Yeah, we're pretty particular with yeah. our meat choice in this shape of ranch. So I'm certainly not an expert cook by any means, but I can cook dog food. There you go. That wraps it up. That's yeah. that's a better way to dog food. 